So I've been speaking for the last 18 months or so from my home on Zoom. So thank you, Michael, for the opportunity to come speak here and wear pants, because I haven't been wearing pants for a long time now. It's been an opportunity for me to really wear pants and speak. Um, so just a quick way to <laughs> sort of talk through what we do. So we are Jetstack, um, a company that sort of, you know, is behind the Cert Manager project. For those who don't know or those who have been using Cert Manager for a long time, um, this is essentially a way for you to, to manage certificates within your uh, OpenShift clusters, um, whether for your routes, whether for your ingresses, whether for your pods, whether for your, you know, mesh workloads, uh, something that uh, many of our customers have been using. Just as a little bit of a background, uh, Cert Manager is an open source project, completely sort of, you know, um, uh, being used by a large number of users, large number of organizations. Many of you uh, here in this room and also online probably use it. Um, so something that, that we look forward for uh, people to contribute or also to extend and add more functionality. So Jetstack, like I said, is the, is the company behind uh, the Cert Manager project. And, um, and over a period of you know, the last couple of years, we've added a lot of enterprise features that is very relevant to many of our OpenShift customers, uh, especially uh, many of our large banks that work very closely with us. Um, and then today, uh, I just want to sort of, you know, start with a, with a little high level of, you know, what is that you get from Cert Manager? Uh, basically, a bunch of um, uh, CRDs that allow you to create this certificate resource that automatically manages your certificate request with a CA that you configure, something that we refer to as an issuer. So you can have, you know, either a built-in issuer that comes in or an external issuer that, that you work with many other uh, providers. The idea is that with this certificate request that manages the entire life cycle, you have a way to uh, manage X4, X509 certificates and identities for all of the services and applications that are deployed in your cluster. Um, that's essentially where sort of, you know, uh, a lot of, uh, lot of our organizations or a lot of the customers that we work with use it. Uh, but many of you know, uh, there are a lot of, lot of uh, uh, places where certificates needs to be managed in Kubernetes. Um, and in this session, which is a lightning round, I just wanted to sort of, you know, quickly take a little bit of time just talking mostly in the context of a service mesh. And, um, and, and the reason why I wanted to talk in the context of service mesh is, you know, majority of our OpenShift customers today are rolling out service mesh, either the, the Red Hat service mesh, which is a little, um, well, with Red Hat service mesh or also, or also independently rolling out the service mesh uh, directly from Istio. Um, simple way. Again, I don't want to bore you with this. You know what a service mesh is. There's a data plane, there's a proxy, there's data occurring across it. But the one important thing that we focus on is that padlock and ensuring that, you know, there is a mesh workload. Every mesh workload that you have is secured, is sort of, you know, uh, identified with, uh, with a spiffy SAN that is issued by and managed cert manager. So, a simple idea being, you know, as you sort of, you know, grow, as you sort of, you know, manage your cluster. So there is a lot of need for ensuring, uh, making sure that, you know, there is zero trust between every single component that is running within the cluster. Ingresses, securing ingresses is one thing, but, you know, also making sure that, you know, every single line of communication within your clusters are also secured. Um, and, uh, and basically you could say, all right, I got it here, got service mesh, it's got its built-in CA. Why do I need anything else? Because I get everything else, everything automatically with uh, with a service mesh. Because security is one of the three important things that a service mesh does. Fair question. Uh, one of the things that many of the enterprises that we work with want to make sure is that the identity that is issued to the mesh workloads has its chain of trust established back to the CA that the organizations manage, the PKI teams manage, the InfoSecs manage, because it's essentially the, the entire chain of trust that needs to be managed by the PKI team. So we have this project called Istio CSR. The Cert Manager also has add-ons. Uh, Istio CSR is one of the, the open source project again basically built with the idea of making sure that, you know, all of your Istio workloads and control plane components are secured using uh, Cert Manager. Cert Manager issuers that I talked about will sign and will deliver, will renew certificates, uh, facilitating MTLS across the cluster. One of the, this is the important thing, you know, when I said that, you know, why, why do I need anything else when I have Istio? So Cert Manager essentially disables the Istio CA server and allows you to use Cert Manager with your CA, with the organization's uh, uh, PKI infrastructure that is in place to issue uh, certificates and manage it. Automatic renewal obviously is built into Cert Manager and you get the benefit of automatically managing everything. 
And every time an application is destroyed, kill pods, the, the private key material and all of the, the associated uh, uh, information about the, the secrets and everything is, is just gone. So that way, you know, every time a new workload is deployed, you get new certificates that ties back to the organization CA. So JetStack Secure is the enterprise offering that sort of you know ties it all together. So like I mentioned, a lot of lot of big organizations, especially enterprises, uh, in addition to wanting cert manager support, uh, enterprise support also work with uh, work with us to sort of you know manage their entire ecosystem of you know tools that they use within their OpenShift environments. Summary. Just, just as a way to, I know Michael is looking at me and I'm gonna either run away from him with the mic and keep speaking or I'll have to give the mic back to him. One of those things will happen. Uh, but just as a way, you know, we want your help, get engaged with us. You know, we are on the Kubernetes Slack channel as Cert Manager, Cert Manager Dev. There's a lot of people that sort of, you know, uh, actively contribute. Um, see us at booth S52, that's where we are. Um, we also have an after party, come see us at the booth and we'll tell you where, when, how, get drink with us. Uh, so looking forward to meeting with you all. Thank you so much. Thanks, Michael.